Hi, my name is Dawn and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm here outside in Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of Métis people today. And uh, some of you may be familiar with a program that we have at the library um, called Imaginators. And it's an after-school program. And a few of the sessions that we've done were on mapping and navigation. And so we're going to take that one step further today and I'd like to show you how to geocache. I'm going to borrow my daughter Emily's phone. So geocaching is like a worldwide scavenger hunt and it's a lot of fun, um, but there's some rules um, and I'll explain those in a moment. But first I'll show you the app. I'm going to get really close here. This is the app that we use. Whoops. There we go. Um, it's a free app for the most part. Um, there are added things that you can get, extra geocaches that they'll show you if you pay a monthly or a yearly fee. Um, but you can download this and that's all the geocaches in the area around where I'm standing right now. So there's a lot to find. Um, this is a good way for getting your kids or your family outside. Um, it's a great activity for when we're social distancing because the whole idea of geocaching is that you don't do it when anyone's watching you. In fact, geocaching uses a term muggles, which is very similar to Harry Potter, if you've read Harry Potter books. Um, muggles are non-magical people in Harry Potter, and in the geocaching world, muggles are people who aren't geocaching. So, I'm gonna pass this back to Emily, and I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we need to know when we're geocaching. First of all, you need to bring a pen. In every geocache you'll find, there will be a log, and you need to write your name and the date in the log. And it can be a made up name like pizza or um, awesome, whatever you'd like to write, just so that people know that the cash was found and on what date. The other thing that it's important to bring are a few treasures. Some of the geocaches have little bigger containers and space for trading treasures. And so you can only take a treasure if you bring a treasure. So today we've brought a little eraser and a library pin. I think that's about it. So now we're gonna try geocaching. Come along on an adventure with us. All right, these are my daughters, Anna and Emily. Because I've already found this cache, I'm going to get them to find this one. So it's an authentic geocaching experience. So Emily, can you get the app up again on your phone? Awesome, okay. Now you see there's an, a geocache really close to us. Can you tap on that geocache? It's right by our dot and then tap on the bottom. Awesome. So on the app, you see that there's a navigate option. So that will actually navigate you right to where you want to go to get the geocache. We'll log later. Emily, do you want to just scroll down? There's also a description and it'll tell you a little bit about the app that you're finding. So this one is about sports and football and the Rough Riders. So if you ever look for this one, you'll get to read the story about that. Some are informational, some are just for fun. Uh, some geocaches are put in special historical locations as well. Okay, let's go back him. All right, it also has, just Not one second. Far. Yeah, uh, you notice that there's an activity. So we can see that this geocache was found on March 29th of this year. So that's fantastic. Okay, would you like to go to the, yeah, head up to the navigate. Okay. All, right. All right, and we're gonna zoom out, and you two are gonna try and find this geocache. For five meters. Can you zoom in? Oh, good. You can't, no, no, no. No, you can't that. zoom in? No. no okay. No, I'm gonna give you a hint. You're five meters away. Wait, I don't know what a meter it is. Says, <laughs> it says five meters on you. Four. A meter is no, bigger a meter than a foot. Okay, keep searching. We'll check. Awesome. So what's inside? Explain to us what you found. Um, okay, I think this is the log. Okay. We so we write down. Jump oh, this. Yeah. And then there's some Here, I'll take prizes. the phone. Then. 
I'll take the one. There's also, I think this is oh. money. I think this is like 20 bucks or something. Oh, that's oh. a good find. I don't think it's 20 bucks. Oh. Well, it, it's, <laughs> I thought it was, okay. That, that would be a great find. Everyone would want to go geocaching oh, if there was yeah. money in them. There's a pencil, oh, complimentary there's logo. some pencil. buttons, an eraser, and some, okay. it looks like some hair clips. Cool. Okay, okay so add not, add no. your treasure. Can you add the treasure? I don't, oh, we, we have the buttons. The Saskatoon Public Library buttons. Are we doing just, which one are we doing? Just the button? No, you the can book. do them both. Oh, both. Okay. Yeah. I have to sign the book. Okay, and you sign the book. Okay, All right, it's very important to note that when you find a geocache, you need to put it back exactly where you got it. We'll talk a little bit about the rules while Anna's writing their uh, name in the logbook. Um, it's important because uh, the coordinates won't update. There's no special little tracker in the geocaches that will change. So if you move that cache, everyone who's got their app open will go to the original location on the app. So you need to put it back exactly where you found it and in the same condition. Um, geocachers also really appreciate if you clean up a little bit, if you notice some trash or some litter around, just tidy it up. Try and make it uh, not crunch down. If Emily had broken half the branches of the bush down to find the geocache, it wouldn't be very great for nature or for the geocaching community. All right, girls, you've put your name on there. You put treasure in. So now we're going to replace the geocache into the original spot that we found it. Maybe cover it up a little bit better with leaves. <laughs> And then we're off to find our next geocache. Good job. All right, we're gonna show you one more type of geocache. We'll be back shortly. Okay, we are back. We used uh, the app to navigate us to another geocache. We'd like to show you this one because it's not a treasure geocache, so it's going to be a lot smaller. Um, we had a few muggles who were passing by, so we just waited for a moment and pretended to look at something else and look at our phones for a second. So now that they've passed, uh, Anna and Emily are going to search for this geocache, which is probably in this tree. Go for it. This is a very tiny geocache. Um, it's not higher than you can reach. You need to be able to reach it to um, access it to sign the log. Emily, do you want to come a little closer? I think I see it. It's right here. This little thing. Oh. How do we get this off? Emily, no, you can leave it up that. there for now and we'll sign it after the video. But we just want to show you the size of it. Emily, put your finger up there again so we can see like how big it is. It's really, really tiny. So inside of that geocache, you'll basically only find um, the paper log. And it's a really tiny log, so you can sign and date it. All right. We will show you how to log our geocaches after we find another phone that hasn't died and has good battery life. See you soon. Okay, we're back. We had a phone battery issue. So it's always important to remember that your devices are fully charged before you go out geocaching. It'd be really disappointing if you got right to a geocache and then couldn't find it because your phone battery died. Um, Emily is going to show us quickly how to log this and you can do that as you go along, um, but we're doing it from at our house. Um, so you just click log and then you click found it and uh, you can share a little story if you want and then post it for um, anyone who's coming behind you and finding the cache tomorrow or in the coming weeks. Then um, they'll know that it was easy to find or hard to find. They'll know if there was a huge snowbank that was covering it or any other information. Have fun geocaching. If uh, you are an avid geocacher and have some tips then uh, send them our way, post them on social media. Have a great day.